All right, Katie, time to get to work. We need to get rid of this countertop, the sink, the vanity, and this electrical outlet right here on the side. That's the only one in the bathroom, so I'd really like to keep it if we can. All right, then we'll disconnect that and see if we can put it back into the new vanity. But I want you to do a lot of the work today, so why don't you dive under there, and there's two shutoff valves. Just turn them clockwise to the right and shut the water off. Now this is a self-rimming sink, which means the only thing that holds it to the countertop is some caulking. I want to take a razor knife and just to relieve that caulking so we can pop it out of there. All right, let's see if I can pry this up with a flat bar. Now the countertop is screwed to the base, so there's a series of screws I'm going to remove and we can take the countertop right out. All right, Katie, this is wedged in, so we got to sort of work it, keep it square. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah, good. That makes us be able to get it out of here. Now, the only thing still holding the vanity in place is the hot and the cold piping and this electrical wire. To make it easy, I'm just going to cut the floor of the vanity out. All right, here is our new vanity base. Just pass me the old drawer, would you? Now, the old vanity had nice narrow drawers. The new ones are much wider. That's good news for you. Mm -hmm. But it's bad news for me because these drawers block where the hot and the cold line come up through the floor. So that means I've got to repipe these over so that they come up on this side. And that means going to the basement and turning off the water. All right, Katie, there's one more modification we have to do. You can see the two copper lines are going to fit pretty good right there, but look at this. This drain line coming out of the wall is going to hit this backer piece, so I'm going to notch the back of that. Okay, good. Now, what I've also done is to rough in for our old electrical outlet. I drilled four pilot holes, and with a jigsaw, I cut out the opening. And once that outlet is in place, I can secure it to the cabinet using these bars, Madison bars they call them. It has two tabs. Bend them over. All right, screw their faceplate on, and it's time to go back to plumbing. Now we need to think about securing our vanity cabinet to the wall. So I've got a high-speed drill bit and go through the cabinet in two places. Once I've drilled those holes, I'm going to take a masonry bit to go through the ceramic tile and install some anchors. Now to hold the countertop down to the vanity, I want you to put a silicone bead right along the top, okay? Okay. Ooh, that's going to fit nice. So the new shutoffs are in and they're holding, and I've already made my connection to the hot water supply. I'm using a stainless steel braided connection, and the connections here are called compression connections. So. Put that in and turn it clockwise. All right, so our hot and cold connections are made, and now it's time to make up this drain connection. I've run the new pop-up assembly in here, so all it needs is a glue connection right here. All right, Katie, I'm going to use a plumber's putty there. Just hold that and just try to catch that thread. Just you see it? Okay, good. Now, when I tighten the nut up down here, you're going to see that putty squeeze out. All right, Katie, it is all yours. Give it a try. All right. Wow. It works great, and it's such an improvement over the last one. Thank you so much, Richard. My pleasure. Mm -hmm.